171. NASA claims there are upwards of 20,000 satellites floating around Earth's upper atmosphere, sending us radio, television, GPS, and taking pictures of the planet. All these supposed satellite pictures, however, are admittedly composite images edited in Photoshop. They claim to receive ribbons of imagery from satellites, which must then be spliced together to create composite images of the Earth, all of which are clearly CGI and not photographs. If Earth were truly a ball, with 20,000 satellites orbiting, it would be a simple matter to mount a camera and take some real photographs. The fact that no real satellite photographs of the supposed ball Earth exist in favor of NASA's ribbons of composite CG imagery is further proof that we are not being told the truth. Let's talk about satellites. We've already discussed how there are no pictures of the Earth, so are satellites even real? Not likely. Ground towers are built all over the world and are more than adequate to relay our television, radio, and cell phone service. All GPS is done through uh, land-based towers and things like Google Earth are taken with high altitude planes and most of them are just done with cars on, on uh, street level. Did you know that satellites were actually invented by Arthur C. Clarke? the science fiction author. I didn't <laughs> they, know that. <laughs> they, they shortly became science fact uh, after that. They, yeah, the geostationary satellite, look it up, it was created by a science fiction author. And then within a decade, NASA claims to have sent a real one up there, and ever since then, that's where we get all our communications from. So if satellites were real, we would constantly hear stories of them being hit by meteors or comets, and that doesn't happen. Uh, no one's ever lost their direct TV feed during the Perseids meteor shower because one of the meteors knocked out one of the satellites. It doesn't happen, it's never happened, and it won't happen. And that to me tells me there is no satellites. You would constantly be worried about them and you would constantly hear about them having something happen. And it's so rare that you hear that. 166. The geostationary communications satellite was first created by Freemason science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke and supposedly became science fact just a decade later. Before this, radio, television, and navigation systems like Loran and DECA were already well established and worked fine using only ground-based technologies. Nowadays, huge fiber optic cables connect the internet across oceans, gigantic cell towers triangulate GPS signals, and ionospheric propagation allows radio waves to be bounced all without the aid of the science fiction bestseller known as satellites. 167. Satellites are allegedly floating around in the thermosphere, where temperatures are claimed to be upwards of 4,530 degrees Fahrenheit. The metals used in satellites, however, such as aluminum, gold, and titanium, have melting points of 1,221, 1,948, and 3,034 degrees, respectively, all far lower than they could possibly handle. 168. So-called satellite phones have been found to have reception problems in countries like Kazakhstan with very few cell phone towers. If the Earth were a ball with 20,000 plus satellites surrounding, such blackouts should not regularly occur in any rural countryside areas. 169. So-called satellite TV dishes are almost always positioned at a 45 degree angle towards the nearest ground-based repeater tower. If TV antenna were actually picking up signals from satellites 100 plus miles away in space, most TV dishes should be pointing more or less straight up to the sky. The fact that satellite dishes are never pointing straight up, and almost always positioned at a 45 degree angle, proves they are picking up ground-based tower signals and not outer space satellites. 170. People even claim to see satellites with their naked eyes, but this is ridiculous considering they are smaller than a bus and allegedly 100 plus miles away. It is impossible to see anything so small that far away. Even using telescopes, no one claims to discern the shape of satellites, but rather describes seeing passing moving lights, which could easily be any number of things, from airplanes to drones to shooting stars or other unidentified flying objects. What about satellites and GPS? As crazy as it may sound, satellites are a hoax. Have you ever wondered why there are never any damaged or fallen satellites? And why there are no satellite malfunctions due to constant heating and cooling? It's weird they don't melt in the thermosphere that's over 2000 degrees. 
I find myself looking at the moon and wondering why we never see satellites pass by the moon. Did you know there are thousands of miles of fiber optic cables under the seabed that supplies 90% of the Earth's communication, internet, phones, etc.? And GPS works off of cell phone towers. It's called triangulation. Haven't you seen those really tall towers and wondered what they are? Satellite TV is just enhanced radio using ground-based towers. It's all ground-based, just like the old TV antenna. Science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke proposed the idea of geostationary satellites in 1945 in a magazine called Wireless World. And 20 years later, in 1965, they claim to have successfully launched the first commercial geostationary communication satellite. Today, there are said to be thousands, but the odd thing is that trying to prove it only leaves you fruitless. All you have to do is lie in your back on a moonless night and look around carefully. Yeah, occasionally you'll see something that looks kind of like a star, but it's moving. It's moving a little fast too, and that's actually a satellite. Now I do accept that you can look up into the night sky and see what we're told are satellites. I've done it myself. I've seen bright lights moving across the sky, but I have no idea what those things are. In this video, you can see several large bright objects. However, none of them appear on any satellite tracking applications. When you look up at a jet airliner, flying at 35,000 feet, you can only see it as a small dot. So how is it if something the size of a jumbo jet is rendered as a small dot at about five to seven miles up, that you can see a satellite which is the size of between a car and a school bus at a hundred miles away? You just wouldn't see it. Welcome to the Satellite Hoax. All right, let's do this. Earth. 
Cause once upon a time one crashed in Brazil With a balloon attached to its steel Welcome to the satellite folks Just another one of them NASL jokes You give a five E a bit to rock satellite Without bringing up a bunch of that CGI With a bunch of cartoons all over the place When I search satellites in space Yeah, sign that phrase into Google, folks Let me welcome you to the satellite folks Be in the thermosphere when the temperature up there is way too severe. How can that type of equipment survive? How comes those satellites aren't burned alive? I'm telling you, man, it's just a pack of lies. There ain't no more than eight satellites because 99% of our communication comes from undersea cables and cell tower stations. A GPS is ground based too, man. Go check out a system called LoRaN. It's a military system for navigation that, that uses ground towers to track your location. Are you seeing it yet? Welcome to the satellite folks. Just another one of them NASL jokes. You get a high be a picture of a satellite without bringing up a bunch of that CGI. A bunch of cartoons all over the place. When I search satellites in space. Yeah, I'm trying that phrase into Google Books. I'm let me welcome you to the satellite folks. You see, Tesla figured out how to communicate without the need for satellites in space. It's mostly ground-based towers, you see. And that's how you get your satellite TV. They've monetized what Tesla made for free with their, with their fake satellite industry. It was Arthur C. Clarke that theorized these things, the sci-fi boxes with solar wings. Another Freemason, it's no surprise, they, they make science fiction and they monetize. They've stolen Tesla's technology and they get you to pay for your TV. Are you seeing it now, people? Welcome to the satellite folks, just another one of them that's a joke. You give me a picture of the satellite without bringing up a bunch of that CGI. Just a bunch of cartoons all over the place when I search satellites in space. Yeah, go type it in the Google right now. And huh? let me welcome you to the satellite folks. So next time you see a photo of the Earth from space, look for satellites. You won't find a trace. Ah, oh, they must have disappeared, I guess. Can't even see any from the ISS. <laughs> If you want to have yourself a little enjoyment, go watch a NASA satellite deployment.